Hey there, I'm Claire Thornton. And this is 5 Things. It's Sunday, June 27th. These Sunday episodes are special. We're bringing you more from in-depth stories you may have already heard. This past Friday, Tamir Rice would have turned 19 years old. He was only 12 years old when he was shot and killed by Officer Timothy Lohman in a park in Cleveland. November 22, 2021 later this year, will be the seven-year anniversary of his death. Last year, we aired an episode of 5 Things Called Teenagers Reflect on Growing Up Black in Tamir Rice's America. And that episode we brought together interviews from young black people turning 18. They all told us how they experienced some aspect of what it means to be black in the United States. That can mean having family members who've been shot by police, being randomly searched by officers at school, or fearing for your life when a cop pulls you over. We also spoke with Tamir Rice's mother Samaria Rice. She's been advocating for young black people in Cleveland, because what happened to her son keeps on happening. On this show we're bringing back that episode from last June so that we can be reminded of what Tamir Rice's legacy means for our country almost seven years after his death. Here's that episode. And just a reminder, it's from one year ago. This past Thursday June 25th would have been Tamir Rice's 18th birthday. He was shot and killed by police in a park in Cleveland in 2014, when he was just 12 years old. He'd been playing with a toy gun. Tamir's death was one of the sparks that fueled the Black Lives Matter movement in its early years. On November 22, 2014, a 911 caller reported someone pointing a gun at people and scaring them. The caller indicated the suspect was possibly a juvenile and that the gun was likely fake. The 911 dispatcher never relayed that information to police. When the police car pulled up, the officers immediately jumped out and two seconds later, Tamir was shot. The officers watched Tamir as he lay bleeding. They never provided first aid. A year later, a grand jury declined to charge Officer Timothy Lohman, who shot Tamir. On today's episode, we're remembering Tamir and exploring what his story and his family's story means for so many others. USA Today journalists talked to 31 teenagers about growing up black in Tamir Rice's America. They're all turning 18 this year. Some want to change their communities by removing blight and closing the wealth gap between whites and minorities. Others are bound for the military, historically black colleges or the Ivy League. Some have been marginalized by their classmates or discriminated against by adults who were supposed to protect them. Others grew up surrounded by the hardness of poverty. The full project came out this past Tuesday. You're about to hear three of those interviews with teenagers. Later, you'll also hear from Tamir Rice's mother Samaria Rice. 